good afternoon sleeping amy family and welcome back to the channel today we are opening this build and battle stadium from astro radiance i don't think i've opened up one of these since evolving skies or sorry fusion strike i did open one for evolving skies and i do have one for fusion strike i never opened up one for brilliant stars so i might go back and open up one of those since you still can get them on pokemon center but uh, let me know if you want me to do that. But for now, we're going to open up this one. I might consider doing one for Lost Origins too, but that's going to be a little ways away. So let's get into this one. I like the, the artwork on these boxes a lot too, which might be one of the reasons why I open up one for Brilliant Stars. I like the ones on Fusion Strike and of all these guys. So but here we are. So, in case you aren't familiar, <clears throat> a build and battle stadium gives you two build and battle boxes. This brick of energy here, <laughs> four extra packs. And then they actually give you uh, damage markers and some dice as well. So, everything in here you, uh, you can use to just play with somebody at home. I think that was the entire point. You could just buy this and you can just go home, open up two build and battles, split the extra packs, and just practice or play at home. That's the whole point of it. <laughs> so we have two of these and we have the extra packs. We'll just go ahead and open up the extra packs first and then we'll get into those. And the energies, of course, are there for you to be able to build whatever kind of deck you want. I believe there should be enough. There's definitely different kinds of energy in there. I think you get like 120 something or, or maybe more than that. But there's a ton of energies in there. But yeah, these products were brand new when the Bombing Skies came out. I think it was a way for them to put out more product, more type of product for people to get. As well as still being in quarantine, people could sit there and play at home with two built-in battles, extra packs, and energies, so. Which was awesome. <laughs> we got Chatot, and we got a Thievel. I'm gonna move these right over here. I don't wanna knock my arm into them. All right. So that box is, is really cool. I just happened to not get a Brilliant Stars one. I opened, I think, one brilliant stars build and battle maybe two i can't remember <laughs> but uh i really do like them and the box is unique to that product so i may actually get another we might have something in the back here so i might actually go for brilliant stars one i want to wait just a little bit though since we are focused on astral radiance at the moment hair cross hisuian sneezler and what is behind there? Heat Rampy Max! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I've had such pretty good luck with these, uh, you know, build and battle products. I've <laughs> had the Path to the Peak come out of the first one I opened. I had the this card up here come out of the second one that I opened. And we are only opening the extra packs and we already got a secret rare Heat Ran V Max. I really like the Heat Ran in this set. Um, I don't think it's very playable, not sure, I haven't really checked, but <laughs> it's a really cool card. The regular artwork looks really cool and the rainbow just makes it even better. I think I'm appreciating the rainbows a little bit more, probably because there are not as many of them. <laughs> and we, you know, had a ton of alternate arts. The rainbows, I think have been put onto the cards a little bit better, especially with some texture. Now I'm actually, we'll go back to that card here in a second so we can see if there's some texture. Quillfish and a Rapidash. Let's see. Yeah, there is a little bit of texture on that card. It's hard to show it here. Maybe you can see just a little bit right under that where it says heat ran. That's probably about the best I'm gonna be able to get to, you guys will get to see it. So, at least, you know, from a camera perspective, looking at the card yourself, if you get to, if you're able to pull it yourself, you're immediately able to see that texture. So, that's awesome. 
Maybe we have some more hidden gems in, these, in the boxes that are left, but we shall see. <laughs> so if you guys wonder, this product retails for $60 and you're essentially paying for three building battles in, in the entire box. But you also get the energies and the markers as well. However, Nicket and Avalon. Like I said before, um, you can get it from GameStop. GameStop should have these in stock if they haven't already sold out in your area. And if they were able to get the stock, I should say. I don't want to just assume that every GameStop has these in stock. Um, I was actually able to use rewards towards it so I didn't have to pay the $60 price. So if you're able to do that, go for it. Especially, or even for one of the smaller ones. You don't have to do like the big one that I did. You can always go for one of these smaller ones. And then we got Weirdier. I kept getting Basque Legion, so I was hoping for a different one. The Weirdier looks really cool. I like Weirdier. I was glad Stantler got an evolution in In, uh, sorry, Legends Arceus. Got distracted, something fell. <laughs> okay. So I was really glad to have Weird Ear. I don't think I've used Weird Ear much in the game. Mostly because I've been shiny hunting. So the only way I've been using Weird Ear is actually just to run around on. So I really want to utilize the Hisuian Pokemon a bit more so I can just kind of appreciate them a little bit better in the game for more than just them being uh, ride Pokemon. So we got Rufflet, Ponyta, Chatot, Bronzor, Reverse Hollow, Hisuian Overquill, and to an Arcanine. Okay. So you guys still playing Legends Arceus? Um, I know Kyle is. He actually hasn't finished the game. Um, he took, he's taking his sweet time with it, which I definitely tried. I think for somebody who started out at the very beginning of the game, like when it was released, I actually took, I think maybe a month or so, about a month to finish the game, which to me was taking my time. <laughs> so now I'm just shiny hunting, but Kyle's still taking his time, trying to finish it and I mean, that's okay with me if you want to take that one. But time, Mighty Yenna. Mighty Yenna character rare. I mean, there is no harm in taking your time with the game. It's really cool. Uh, playability wise, I don't think there's too much playability, but if you take your time through it, <coughs> excuse me, I think uh, you'll get to really enjoy the game. Mighty Yenna character rare. I want to finish my thought because I think we might have something. Nope, just a regular rare. That look kind of like we had something. I think it's just the cut of this card. Some of these cuts kind of uh, will throw me off because there's a this jagged cut on this card. <laughs> so we got Mighty and a character rare. I think we did pull that one. Let's see. I think in the last video, yeah. The, I think Friday? I'm pretty sure. But we have already sold the Mighty Yenna character rare. Again, it'll be one that I put into the pile to trade, or if Kyle wants to trade, or if anybody wants uh, to trade with me for them. I should post up the, a bunch of these stuff on uh, Twitter, honestly, so I can uh, sit here and start trading for some Astral Radiance. I'm up for trading right now, and Astro Radiance is not really going to purchase any cards. I want to try to pull a bunch of them myself. But I'll definitely trade. Let's see. Hisuian Samurai Reverse Hollow into a Vespa Quinn. Alright, last pack out of this box. And we have one more building battle. So I don't think it's too bad if you were at home using these to do your own pre-release tournament against somebody, I think it would be pretty cool. I think you would have enough cards. Because it just seems to contain everything that you need. And, uh, 
how hyped are you guys for the upcoming game? Reverse Hell Featherball into a Basque Legion. I know I talked about it Monday that I was looking at some uh, leaker stuff, and I still am. <laughs> I definitely still am. I'm very much enamored by that. But I am so excited for the release of those games. I'm hoping for another trailer, just to see more Pokemon, just to see more uh, potential game footage. Super, super excited, super excited. <laughs> All right, let's see. And we got Sandrot. So we are actually missing only one. And we're trying to remember what it is. I can't quite call. I think it might, I don't think it's the Typhlosion. I think it's the Decidueye. I think it's the Decidueye that we're missing. Typhlosion wasn't included in the pre-release kits. It was a GameStop promo card. So it didn't have a GameStop stamp on it, but it did have the Astro Radiance logo on it. If you were able to get it from GameStop, you may know what I'm talking about. Uh, there should still be some at GameStops, potentially. I was told that they didn't have quite as many of those cards this time, so they were a little bit more picky about how they gave them out. However, I was able to get a couple. I'll definitely, for next giveaway, put one of those in there, I think. Since people don't seem to be posting up those cards a lot. But yeah, Typhlosion was added in one of the pre-release uh, cards you could get. So I think it was Decidueye the other one. Okay, we got Reverse Hollow Gardenia's Vigor and a Rapidash. All right. So I do have this building battle. We'll see if we get a hit out of here. And I always have one more. I wanted to save that one, I think, for Friday. To just kind of do building battles throughout the entire week. And I think Friday, also, we have the new Professor Juniper box coming out. Those milk cartons. I was actually able to pre-order one this time. So I probably just opened the one. Uh, Canceling Cologne into a Reggie Gigas Hollow. Yeah, I'll probably just open the one Juniper box. It has the full art Ju Professor Juniper card in it. I'm sure as well as a few other non-full art cards. And this one will have seven, I think seven packs in there. I kind of just want to show up the pack selection in there. I wasn't able to get a Marnie box and I think that's fine. I kind of want to see what the pull rates are out of the Juniper one. From videos I saw in the Marnie box, a lot of the, a lot of them did not have great pull rates. There were a few that had fantastic pull rates, but a lot of them just didn't have good pull rates. So it, I wasn't upset that I missed out on that. We got Cinequil, you seeing Quillfish. Ooh, Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. Okay, that is a hit. Oh my goodness, that is a hit. Look at that artwork. Oh my gosh. This is fantastic. I was hoping to finally pull one of these Calyrex cards, other than the gold one. <laughs> I think the Shadow Calyrex seems to be uh, the one that's finding more, me more often right now. <laughs> so we got this character rare, and then we got a Leafeon in the back. <laughs> this is, was a fantastic box for sure. Pulling one I don't have, and these V and V Max cards are actually, I feel like, quite hard to pull. The regular character rares, like the Mayena, I think are a little bit easier to pull. But these Vs and V Maxes are absolutely hard <laughs> to pull. They have shown they are quite, quite difficult. <laughs> All right, last pack. Let's see if we can't get a hit out of here too. But I think that is going to be great for uh, just the ending. So I've gotten a pull out of every single set of four packs. We got the Rainbow Heat Ran. So I'll go over all of them once I'm finished with this last pack. Let's see. Tokopi, Combi, Cricketune, Reverse Hollow into an Arcanine Non-Hollow. Okay. 
So to those first four packs, actually technically not a box, we actually still got a pull. We got a Secret Rare Heat Rain VMAX. And then out of the first build and battle box, we got that Mygiana. And then out of the second one, we got the Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. So I'd say that was a great build and battle box. Now, for those thinking the value might not be there, sometimes it's about the pulls. I think the Shadow Rider Calyrex might be a decently priced card going to those who are, again, seeking out value. But hey, it's always, you know, a game of opening up the Pokemon cards. There could have been boxes that have more stack than this. <laughs> they could have had tons of full arts, uh, more character rares than I pulled, but I was just happy to have a pull out of each set of four packs. So sometimes out of building battles, you get nothing. So I'm not complaining. That was actually really cool. And we got two uh, promos that I had not pulled yet. So this was awesome. And if you think this was awesome, uh, consider dropping a like down below and consider subscribing. We are so close to 400 subscribers and I can't wait to do a giveaway because I think I'm going to mix in some of my extra brilliant stars and extra radiance cards in that. I think I might also put in this Basket Legion promo. As well as telling you guys, I might, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put in one of those Typhlosion cards too. Being that I was able to get a couple of them, I think I'm going to throw one of those in as well, just because I want uh, other people to be able to get that promo too. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hey, <laughs> like I said, consider subscribing because I'm in, I think we're six, five, six subscribers away. I'm going to do another giveaway. And on Twitter, I think if we hit uh, 1,500 subscribers, which I'm around um, 1,150 right now, so if we get a couple hundred more followers, sorry, followers on Twitter, I'll do another giveaway on there as well. We kind of hit our Twitter goals pretty quickly, so I'm going to do a bigger goal for Twitter, at least. <laughs> but again, thank you guys so much for watching. And we will have this other build and battle on Friday. So hopefully we can have another pull in there too. So until Friday's video, take care, sleep well, and good night.